Day with Skates back at it again here with a great video for you guys today. Today we are starting a three day trip. Someone swapped my eight days that were t scheduled for tomorrow, which is Thursday, for a trip today. We have a three day trip and we're going to be laying over in Fort Lauderdale and Minneapolis. Let's go. Two hours later. All right, guys, we just made it to the Boston airport after a long two hour flight. We are sitting in the airport doing absolutely nothing. We have a three hours sit here. Yeah, I said it, three hours sit. So let's get into editing, maybe watch a movie, maybe read a book, maybe walk around the airport, who knows? Only you do if you follow this video. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I found me a little quiet space in the Boston airport. So I'm about to edit a YouTube video. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I'm going to people watch <laughs> and do nothing. This airport is super, super duper empty. Like, there's nobody in here. I said, there's nobody in here. It's just like all employees. It's crazy. All right, so this is my setup. I'm about to edit this vlog for Saturday. And then I'm watching planes. Well, no planes really take off because there's nobody really moving out here but the trucks. So this is the view. It's actually a really nice view, so I'm not really too mad about it. Let's do nothing. Let's go. You know you much, much, much later. All right, we are about to head to our gate. Our gate is literally like right there. And I just told you guys I pulled up the plane coming in. So yes, we had two legs today. We just came from Atlanta to Boston. Now we're in Boston. We're about to head to Fort Lauderdale. It's a three hour flight with 35 people on the plane. So it's gonna be super light. So let's go. So we are in the Boston airport, y'all. And the Boston airport is super, super different. It's a Wednesday. I don't to be, I don't expect it to be that busy, but. Thank you guys for watching. We have made it to our layover. It is currently 11.40. Our van was late picking us up, but not a biggie. It's so weird for like a TV to be playing when you walk into the hotel rooms. I'm just like, who's in here watching TV? Because listen, it's loud. But anywho, we are in Fort Lauderdale. Let's get into our Fort Lauderdale hotel. When you first come in, it's actually really cold in here, but we're going to warm the room up. Okay, I need, I need this for my bags. So you guys have a, we have a full size refrigerator right here. That's actually cute, sweet. I'm actually staying here before. And you walk in, so I'm to turn this up. It's cold. So you guys think we have like a mini kitchen here. I like it, okay. Got a dishwasher, cabinets, stove to cook. You have tea, coffee, microwave, TV. You got your bed. And let's see where we're at with this view or whatever. I was at the pool last time. I'm not this time. No worries, let's close these curtains. I'm checking for killers and cleanliness. You have your LED mirror here, it's actually pretty big. You have a walk-in shower, and it's clean. Okay. All right, so now I'm just putting away all of my food. Um, something I just recently did the other day, I froze this entire, like, I put water in here and I froze it. And honestly, this thing, it stayed frozen for a few hours, okay? Like, basically all day. 
But we have a freezer today, so I'm gonna freeze that. But then the freezer and freeze it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna freeze my blueberries too because I'm like, who doesn't like frozen blueberries? So honestly, I'm gonna put my whole lunch bag in here. So last night I slept with my satin pillow and it felt really good. Granted, this pillowcase is too small for this one, but this is not a standard pillow, so it is what it is. But make sure you guys bring your own pillowcases. Boom, take that. I just ran to the little fresh market and got some fruits and vegetables and a salad. because I didn't pack enough food like usual, but I'm trying to watch my weight, so here we go. The hotel that we're staying at is so cute in Fort Lauderdale, very cute. It's always a vibe when you come here. It's always a bit busy too. This is in the lobby. It's so cute. I'm gonna walk out and go to the store. Let me grab some water. Our hotel has this little cute green area. It's so cute. I know for me personally, if I do not have like my snacks portion out, I'm gonna eat like trash all week because I don't have nothing. Well, I just have convenient food and usually convenient food is like, <laughs> crusty lips. Usually convenient food is like, you know, candy, snacks on the aircraft. So today I cut up an apple, cut up a kiwi and I have some strawberries and some blueberries my little stacky stack snack by the pool and I got some sushi from the fresh market because I want some sushi. I am in my bikini. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Sorry. No. So we're gonna go to the pool and we're gonna get some sun. Report time is three o'clock. So we have or report time is three forty five for our next flight. So I'm gonna come up cigarettes by three o'clock and get my life together. So I keep saying so like what's 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 the new word? But anyways, <laughs> we're going to head downstairs and go to the pool and get some sun. I definitely can't wait to get some sun, y'all. So let's go to the pool. This is such a nice hotel too. So let's... So this is the lobby to the pool. It's so cute. So let's get some sun. This is really cute. How was I here? Two minutes away from departure we have to go the stairs and get on the shuttle and head to the airport um like i mentioned earlier i'm gonna pull my satin pillowcase off because oh, i just bought these and i don't want to lose them Duh. all right <laughs> i'm about to get ready to go i already have my bags packed and i'm ready to head downstairs all right y'all i just made it on the van i thought i was gonna be the last one down here but surprisingly i'm not the only one that's been late we have one minute until we head to the airport. I'm about to drink some water and my mask on and yeah. So let's go to work. I did not want to leave today because the pool was so nice. Put back to work. All right, y'all, we just made it to the Fort Lauderdale airport. It's pretty quiet so far. We're going to our gate and get our day started. We have two legs today. Fort Lauderdale to Detroit, to Detroit, Detroit to Minneapolis. See you guys in Detroit. In the jet bridge waiting to board and I'm so tired like why did I decide to go out to the pool it's so draining all right y'all we just made it to on a plane it took a minute for the plane to get clean so now we are about to go to work I just proof out my equipment and I think we're boarding so bye <laughs> so we are in the Detroit airport heading to our next flight we are going to Minneapolis. So let's go. Airport is not that busy, but people are in here. So that's always a good thing. Just made it back on the plane for flight number two. <laughs> so when you come into this walkway, you have this nice mirror. I like this. Okay, we have my bags, my shoes, and then we have the room. So you have 
I actually like this, this little bench right here. It's super cute for your luggage. I like that. So you come in here, you have two double beds. Okay. And my laptop right there. And then you have this closet. Wish you were here. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> so you have a closet, closet space. This, this is standard hotel. Been there, done that. And I got two t shirts for it. Y'all, oh, I can't wait to tell my little story. Or my So we have our bedroom here. Super cute. This is actually an airport layover. Kind of impressed. Okay. Okay, we see you, sweets. Let's see what this view here now. Nah, the airport. Today was definitely eventful. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys know what happened in my life. People are, people are out. And people are out. So when you walk into the bathroom, you have the blue light popping. You have the LED light here. And look at the backsplash. Bathroom and next hotel. Shower. I'm getting really tired. Check your pillows to make sure you don't have any stains or marks, but I'm only need one pillow, so I'm gonna pull these off here. Alright, I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm tired. right at the airport hotel. It was literally a walk from the gate to the hotel. Super easy. But as you can see, Minneapolis is definitely foggy. All right. Good morning and happy Friday, guys. This is go home day. Ah! Let me tell you, that's like that's like the flight attendant's best day of the week is go home day. So happy Friday, y'all. As you guys know, I came in really late last night. From from Minneapolis to Detroit, so now I'm here. Wait, Detroit to Detroit to Minneapolis. Sorry, thought it's in my brain. So we are here in um, Minneapolis, and last night we had a little situation on the plane. So during the planing, we had this passenger like get up and go all the way to the front, and then I heard some commotion, like two passengers like kind of arguing, and as soon as I heard the F bomb, I said, "Hold on, let me go see what they're talking about." So I go in between the guys. I, I so I walk up to the you know to, well, blah, blah. so I walk up to the guys and the guys are kind of like going back and forth like you need, you need to be seated you need to sit down and he's really accurate like you nobody told you to get up because you are sitting all the way in the back and we did playing on by row so y'all y'all they they don't be listening you know fighters made an announcement and they still don't listen so they're they're arguing and then they're like talking trash to each other so the guy like puts his hand on this guy's shoulder like that I said uh uh y'all don't need to be fighting out here sir. I, Let's go to the back. So I, I tried to de-escalate de the situation as best as possible. So the guys are talking shit to me like, well, I ain't do nothing to him. I was like, you know, I understand completely, but I'm just trying to de-escalate the situation. I don't want you to go to jail. I ain't trying to do no report. I still got to do one. But let's just calm down, friend. Let's calm down. He was not trying to hear it. So they're talking shit, still talking shit. So we're deplaning, you know. I said, just give us, give us a moment, sir. Like, relax. You didn't, you weren't in the wrong. Well, you were in the wrong, but you was in the wrong with, with, with the man grabbing on you. I do agree. Like, keep your hands to yourself. We're all grown adults. And if you want to do it, do it off of the plane. Because I ain't got time on a plane, okay? And I'm just saying that to say the story. More of the story is, you know, flight attendants, we deal with so much on a plane. Like, we're definitely the flight, like, we're the flight attendant. We're the mommy. We're the, we're the therapist. We're the mom. We're the police sometimes. We're the firefighter sometimes. Like, we have to do, we, we do all these things in the air when it comes down to them. But be nice to your flight attendants and have some compassion. So that's what I had to deal with yesterday. Granted, it wasn't too bad, but I had to write a report. I think I got to remember, remember to do my report too. So it's going to help me do it. But child, the people be like, I'm on the plane. Just, just sit down and be quiet, okay? <sighs> so that was yesterday's tit. Now we are starting off a new morning. Happy, happy Friday. I'm in a great mood. I went to the gym and I'm up and ready to go to work. Today we have two legs. We're going to... 
MSP to Phoenix and Phoenix to Atlanta. So let's get ready for work. About to get on the elevator and go down the stairs. Private little shop garden day, okay. Hey guys, we just made it to Phoenix. Phoenix, so we went from Minneapolis to Phoenix. The flight was really full, COVID. And we are here in Phoenix, like I said earlier. We have like a two hour and 30 minute sit, and then we should be on our way back to Atlanta. We finish around like 10 o'clock tonight, maybe 11. Let's go home. Body aircraft today. This is our adult to one suite and cabin. Here we have our comfort and main cabin back here. We are all the way in the back today. I'm flying on the 767 wide body Phoenix to Atlanta, Georgia. It's probably about three hours. And this flight is gonna be really bumpy because it was bumpy coming into Phoenix today. This is our last leg of the day and we're going home. So let's go home. As a flight attendant or any job that you may ever have in your life, you need to know your work rules. Knowing your work rules is really important because you have people who come to you that have the same job description and they may tell you things that you think you don't know and try and get over on you. So always know your work rules and always on top of it. And you do it in a friendly and nice manner when you are approaching your coworkers. Hey, how are you? So you always wanna know your work rules just in case you get tried at work. It's always good to know what you're talking about to defend yourself and stand up for yourself because no one else will stand up for you. So always know your work rules. This should be a really, really easy flight. We are going home. We are going home, y'all. The day when you come onto the aircraft, take your bags away. Put my bags away. And check your emergency equipment. As you guys know, I did not show you guys what I'm doing when I check my emergency equipment because I just feel like that's a safety thing. And my airline is really strict about certain things. And I wouldn't want to jeopardize my job for you to, like I said before, so I'm gonna check my work, check my equipment. Let's know what's placard here. This is what we check. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure that we have enough snacks and water and baths and masks for the passengers that are arriving on this plane. So that's what it is. This trip has been really easy and really smooth. So my crew was super good. It's always good when you have a good crew to work with because it can either make your make make or break your experience of your trip. So yes. So let's go home. We're going home. And on this flight, since it's a 767, we have added a flight attendant to this rotation. So she's gonna sit wherever it's an empty seat. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm at the A, super good. I don't have that much responsibility. Make sure you guys watch the last video, the New Orleans video. I was a flight leader, it's gonna be pinged here. Check that out for me. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel for all the great videos. Here we go. All right, y'all, we just made it home. We have finally made it to Atlanta. We had an uneventful flight. We had these three amazing UMs. They were just so respectful and so well-mannered. I told their parent was like, oh my God, your kids are so well-mannered. I wish I could do it like this. That was really nice and pleasant for this flight. Let's find my car. I don't know where I parked that. I found my car. And she was parked real close to the insurance. So that was really nice. All right, y'all know that feeling. We made it through another day of being a flight attendant. Ah! Okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to head home and drive like a responsible adult. So I'm signing off on this vlog. Have a great weekend. Thank you guys for watching this far. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And let's get ready for next week's video. And we out.